Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course Management Information Systems. Today we are going to continue with the same lecture, Chapter 1 of, from hard, uh, Module 2, Information Technology Infrastructure. In the last two lectures we were discussing the IT infrastructure as well as the hardware components. When we were discussing the IT infrastructure, we have said that IT infrastructure has seven components. Seven components uske kaun -kaun se the, the hardware component, the software component, this may do components the system software as well as application software. Then we saw that there was a uh, data management component and uh, a telecommunication and networks component, the internet component as well as the consultant component. So in South components ki humne baat ki thi and we were discussing the first one that we were discussing with the hardware component aur humne jo cheeze dekhi thi usme we described how to select the hardware for information systems and we also saw uh, the different characteristics of memory processor storage and as well as the input and output devices in the last lecture we were discussing the different kinds of output devices as well as the different types of computers that are that could be used in any information systems that range from small handheld computer systems to large mainframes and supercomputers. On sab ke humne characteristics as a uh, briefly dekhe te, that what are those kind of computers. Today we are going to uh, do the uh, software portion of the uh, chapter that system software kya hote application software kya hote when we were talking about the hardware, we, we said that the hardware uh, is there to input and give you the correct output. When we were talking about the output, we said that output should be in the right format at the right time to the right person. Right, Ji? That the output that we are getting has to be useful. And then we saw that when these hardwares were being used, then there were certain kind of softwares, especially application softwares, that were being used to make the hardware work properly. For example, if you were using uh, the stylus to input certain data, or we were using some biometric input, then there was certain kind of software that is working in the background to convert that uh, hard code or to convert this th that handwriting or convert our facial features into a digital code that is understood by the computer. Right, ji. So now when we are talking about the uh, softwares, in today's lecture, let's have a look at it. We are going to identify and briefly describe the functions of two basic types of software. Okay, briefly we will see two basic types of software, which are system software and application software. Then we are going to outline the role of operating systems. Briefly we are going to see well, what are the different kinds of operating systems that work uh, at a personal level and, and at enterprise level. Then we are going to discuss how application software support the personal work group enterprise business objectives as well as what kind of application softwares are there to be used. Raiji. Raiji, now we said that softwares are very, very critical to uh, the performance of any kind of hardware. In fact, they are critical in use when it comes to uh, the organization if it wants to achieve certain goals. Like I said before that hardware cannot work pro properly without the use of certain softwares and that includes both kind of so softwares. The system software as well as the application software. If you want to use the hardware properly, then you need to have the softwares with you and they are very critical uh, in achieving the goals of the organization because they support the hardware as well as they allow the users to use the hardware. Right, the basic two kinds of uh, softwares as you know already that system software consult and they are a set of programs that coordinate activities and functions of the computer system which includes the hardware as well as other programs. So, aapka jo system software hota hai, they basically use for uh, controlling, coordinating the uh, computer system as well as maintaining the computer system. Right, this is a basic example hai, the operating systems that are used for that as well as the utility programs that are either associated with the operating systems or their standalone utility programs. 
Then we have the application software. Application software are basically there to help the users do a certain task on the computer. Right? You serve help kara unko certain task complete karna mein. For example, word processor is an example of an application software. Kya kara MS Word, this ko hum kehte hain. What is it doing? Aapko help kara to type down things, to create letters, to create um, documents, summaries, reports, any kind of this kind of uh, activity. So, what is the example hai, that means the application softwares are there to help the users perform certain things, uh, certain tasks on the computer. Then, uh, these kind of softwares are basically divided uh, on the basis of the sphere of influence. What is that? It's a scope of problem opportunities that are addressed by organizations. When you're in an organization, then there is basically three sphere of influence. Number one is the personal, number two is the work group, and number third is the enterprise level. Okay? Personal sphere of influence may means that there uh, be application softwares and they are for a single user personal use. Ke liye. Work group ke liye jo, uh, software use honge that are basically used in an environment just where multiple people are connected through a network or they are doing some kind of a collaborative work. Enterprise level, ke upar, when we talk about the sphere of influence at the enterprise level, then it consists of software that support the firm in the interactions with the environment. Or uske environment mein kya kya aa jati hai. These are the suppliers, the customers, the stakeholders, competitors, as well as government agencies ke saath when, when the whole system is interacting with its environment as well as obviously the business processes that are working within the enterprise as well as the uh, interactions outside the uh, organization. So that's how the uh, organization can the sphere of influence def uh, define kiya gaya hai. that is on the basis of these three categories the personal level ki upar konse applications use hongi work group level pe konsi applications use hongi and enterprise level pe konsi applications use hongi uh, not just applications in fact system softwares we can kis kis level pe konsi use hongi and we're going to look at them in the same manner right i won't go into the detail of uh, personal uh, softwares because uh, probably we uh, you've studied all of these in uh, your uh, introduction to computing uh, course but we're going to uh, look into the work group and enterprise level uh, softwares. Right, when we're talking about the operating system, operating system basically plays a central role in the functioning of the uh, functioning of the complete computer system. Okay? Operating system is basically used for the control and coordination of the computer system which includes the hardware as well as the software that the application software and other kind of programs that are uh, that the computer is using. Operating system kab kaam karna shuru karta hai? that is after boot up when the computer starts the BIOS uh, mein jo, jo instructions hoti hai, that loads the system files of the operating systems first then those system files jo hai, they load the kernel of that, the core basic, um, this ko hum kehte hain, the base of the operating system kernel, wo upload hota hai in the RAM. Hai? And after that, when the kernel is uh, loaded into the RAM, the memory, then the operating system takes control of the whole computer. Hai? Uske bar, it starts doing the coordination and controlling of the computer system. Right, see, there are different functions that the operating systems uh, perform. On a very uh, basic level, I mean, in ko dekhte hai, that the very basic functionalities of the operating system, which most of the operating systems um, give, are number one, the common hardware function. Common hardware function means that the operating system acts as an intermediary between the hardware as well as the programs that are running in, in the computer. That means, for example, if you're working on a word processor and you want to access the printer, you have print command di. That uh, command or that uh, uh, action that is taken by the operating system and then operating system communicates with the hardware that a certain document needs to be printed. 
right? The application program itself, the word processor itself, is not communicating with the printer. The Myanmar operating system here that is providing the communication and acting as an intermediary between these two, uh, uh, the software and the hardware. Right. Then uh, most of the operating systems or all of the operating systems give you uh, the ability to interact with the system itself through the user interface. Uh, there are two types of interfaces, a command based interfaces hoti hain, may aap command type karte hain, hai? and then you have the graphical user interfaces that is nowadays you must be familiar with the graphical user interface because ab command based interfaces nahi zyada use hoi. Graphical user interface mein kya hai? you have a desktop a colorful desktop with the colorful icons and then you open windows with the just a click of the mouse theke? you give the commands print ki command the file open ki command the all of this with the help of a click of the mouse or a simple touch even so the graphical user interface provides you that kind of functionality then the operating system is used to manage memory as well managing memory means that you're not only managing the memory but you're controlling the access of the me memory as well as the usage and storage of the programs in the memory and when we talk about the memory we're talking about RAM here that means ke kaun se program memory ko access karenge usme reside karenge kiti der ke liye reside karenge kaun when the program starts then a certain part of the memory is al allocated to that uh, program to run right ji and for example, if uh, a concept is virtual memory. Ka. For example, if your memory is overloaded and there's not enough space to run programs, then a certain portion of the hard disk is allocated to the RAM. It's not physically allocated, but it only increases the functional capability of the RAM. Ke us hard disk ka wo chota sa portion acts as a RAM itself. But obviously, uska access rate different hoga and the programs would run a bit slower ya unko access karna slow hoga okay that does slow down your computer uh, to some extent lekin it uh, somehow manages to allocate memory to different programs that are running right then the uh, the operating system is used to process task a core uh, function in operating systems ka that is, is, is used for task management by allocating computer resources to different kinds of programs. Okay, computer resources ka kya hai? processor time, memory, uh, as well as hardware resources, kon kon si kis program ni use karni hai. Ye sab manage kar hai. Operating system. This may do concepts are that number one is the multitasking. Multitasking means running one or more applications at a time. That means more than one application jibab run kare on the same computer. That is called multitasking. For example, you're opening, uh, you have the Outlook email program open, you have the browser open, you have the word processor open, as well as um, any other graphical software open so when all of these windows are open then not all of them are working at the same time in the front okay so your front keeper window only that would be in the running uh, condition in the active running condition the rest would be running in the background okay for example if you have a command that you have to copy this file from this to a cd a cd file up transfer current to your own uh, hard disk so that might be working in the background and you m might be working on the word, word processor typing something. So how the operating system manages all this multitasking features, okay, this is the functionality available by the operating systems as well. As well as a core uh, concept about time sharing. Time sharing means that you, uh, there are multiple users that, that are accessing a same file on a certain computer. That, ha uh, that works when uh, the computers are attached in a networked uh, environment and they are accessing something from a server or they are accessing the same resource at the same time, for example, a printer. Right? Now, how or which user gets the preference and how uh, it allocates the printer time to different people, that is again uh, provided by the operating systems uh, ke wo kis handle karte hai time sharing 
Then operating systems provide uh, the networking capabilities that means uh, the features and capabilities of the operating system that aid users in connecting with the networks. Some of the operating systems have the built-in network connectivity, others uh, allow you to install such, uh, such a, a connectivity. All right, then we have another functionality of the operating uh, systems that is file management. File management means that the files are available to the people when needed and protected from access by unauthorized users. File, file management may, uh, the operating system manages the file uh, and it allows the searching of the file easier as well as this may put sorry, disk uh, management utilities are that thing like disk fragmentation. So uh, file management ka you will have part of that is provided through the utility programs as well. Right, so then operating systems provide security, uh, how by providing the logon feature and ident identification code. When you log on to the any kind of computer, the password, you, the, you have a username and you have a password as well through which you can access your settings or the desktop or uh, your computer settings. Uh, so this is again a feature of the operating systems that they provide the users with a logon facility so that unauthorized users cannot access uh, your settings and your computer files and documents. Right, iske lava, we have another um, uh, feature or function of the operating system that it provides hardware independence. Hardware independence means that uh, if there are, ch if the vendors are changing some, making some change in the hardware or component of the uh, computer or the software applications are changing in some way, then these two are not dependent on each other. Right, so when a certain kind of, uh, for example, a mouse attached career, pele mouse, the wired mouse, the now there are wireless mouses. So if, they, if these two technologies, uh, though different technologies, and they are being used on the same computer, right, then the operating system has the functionality of accepting that kind of change, and how? By the use of device drivers. Device drivers can be uh, simple program, programs that tell the operating system how to communicate with a certain kind of a hardware device. So some of the hard, uh, to device drivers were specifically uh, installed. Now when you connect the hardware to a computer, it provides a simple plug and play functionality that the device drivers automatically get installed and the operating system is easily able to adjust to the change and communicate with any kind of hardware that is attached with the computer system. Right, G. So, we looked at the very basic uh, uh, functionalities of the operating system that when or almost all the operating system provide these basic uh, functionalities that different, uh, even if they are working at a personal level or work, work group level or enterprise level, pe, the operating systems ke ye basic functionalities. Hai. Right, next, uh, we'll have a look at the different kinds of uh, operating systems jo available hai. Chota se chart hai, aapke paas samne nazar hai on the screen. Then there, on the personal level, aapke paas Windows Vista se now you have, uh, uh, the chart is a bit old. So now you have Windows 7, Windows 8, as well as Windows Mobile, Windows Mobile and Windows Embedded, jisko Windows CE bhi bolte hai. These are again, uh, operating system used for handheld and mobile devices. Now, then we have the Android, the Mac OS, uh, Android gets out, you have the iPhone OS as well, the operating system that is used in iPhones. And then uh, you have the Unix, Solaris, Linux, Red Hat Linux, as well as Palm OS. Right, G. so um, since our user demands are increasing and uh, so is the technology to keep up with the user demands, is there are a special kinds of operating systems that are developed for the work group that provide you with a much stronger network capabilities and they used to run networks and perform critical business tasks as well. So work group uh, can there are both special uh, purpose um, operating systems. Uh, this is Windows NT server and then you have the Windows 2003 server uh, th that is taken over by the Windows Advanced uh, Server Limited Edition which is a 64-bit version of Windows Server family and it competes with the rival Linux running on Itanium processor. So this uh, Windows uh, Advanced to add that 
works on the itanium processors. Iskelawa, we have the Unix. Unix is used with many computer types and it's used across different kinds of platforms as, as well. And it also makes it easier to connect mainframe and personal computers to share resources. So, basically, this uh, uh, operating system hai, that allows you to connect personal computers as well as mainframe computers. Raji, Netware uh, allows you to log in on any computer on the network and access your own uh, desktop features. Right, so if you use other operating systems, what do you do when you log on to any kind of computer? You can log in to other computers, but you cannot access the uh, desktop. But on the other hand, when you're using uh, the netware, then you can log on to any computer and you, you can access your own settings. Right, then we have the uh, Red Hat. Linux ठीक है आपको बहुत basic basic features इनके सबके बता रही हूँ। They're very efficient at serving web pages and uh, they can manage clusters of around eight servers. ठीक है आपके ये जो uh, ये वाला Red Hat Linux है that can be used as a web server. Now the the special thing about the Mac operating system is that it uh, allows you preemptive multitasking. Now what is preemptive multitasking? Is that how long that uh, a certain uh, resource is allocated to a certain program and why is that so that it, ca uh, it basically defines the time in which a certain application program is using a certain resource so that each process gets the right amount of CPU time and which in turn increases the efficiency uh, and the performance of the computer systems right Ji, so uh, preemptive pre multitasking mein kya ho hai ki aapke Multitasking was simply that was allowing allowing the uh, different programs to share the resources at the same time. But preemptive multitasking may again time ka feature ajata that it basically has the control of how much time it is allocating to the certain uh, application program to uh, allocate a certain resource to that application program. Is ka kya hai that um, if a certain application is stuck, yes hardware is stuck and they're not communicating well then the operating system takes control of the whole system in its own hand okay us hardware ka control apne paas le aata hai and then it can shift that resource ya shift the cpu uh, cpu time to other kind of application program if a certain application program gets stuck right the enterprise uh, level cuper again uh, pretty much we wale uh, operating systems given a windows nt server windows advanced server uh, Linux, Unix, Red Hat, uh, plus there's again very special kind of uh, operating systems used with the mainframes. That is one of them is this IBM Z slash OS, again Z series operating system. Hai, jiski humne, uh, if you remember we talked about this when we were talking about the mainframe and server wala a case study uh, in the last lecture. Then we said that they were using the Z series operating system. Uh, Mm, operating systems because Z here means that it's zero downtime. Okay, again, they are IBM 64 bit operating system and they have the functionality of improved workload management features as well as advanced e commerce security. So, you can workload manage and they have the e commerce uh, security features enabled in them. And they also uh, have the functionality to subdivide the mainframe into different small servers so different applications can run on the uh, partitions. Okay? It's uh, simply uh, converting the mainframes into small partitions and on partitions may different applications run. Then we have this HP uh, MPEIX. It's again an internet enabled operating system for the HP E3000 series uh, and it uh, handles variety of business tasks. Right, the different kinds of business tasks to hain, wo ye wala ek mainframe ka operating system mein handle kar sakte. Then we have the HP UX again. It's again used for internet based databases, business applications and it comes in variety of versions. Okay, so aapke basically mainframes ke jo operating systems hain, that provide an and extra functionalities of doing of managing business tasks of, of uh, doing uh, complex uh, computations and with added security for 
uh, e-commerce as well as internet usage. So, if you are mainframes use or for any kind of uh, as web servers, then they provide you extra security here. Right, now when we talk about, uh, we, we were talking about the operating systems and we said that we have divided the operating systems into the three uh, categories based on the sphere of influence, the personal, the work group as well as the enterprise. There's another category of the operating systems that are the embedded operating systems. That means that there are certain kinds of operating systems that are embedded into the devices themselves. Okay, embedded means that they have put their functionality in it. And some of these operating systems are developed for special purpose devices. For example, the computers that are used in the space shuttle. Okay, many uh, operating systems are made like this. They are small. They are small devices. They are uh, household devices. Bhi ho sakti hai. For example, you have this Windows CE. This yeah, Windows embedded disk. That is embedded in small computer devices. Now, what could be these uh, small devices, small computer devices? They could be used in industries as, as, as controller devices. Okay, point of sale terminals, ho sakte hai, ATMs, ke andar aapke jo, uh, operating system use ho hai, that are embedded operating systems, as well as computerized sewing machines, household devices, mein aapke, uh, ye, uh, Windows embedded systems use. Ho hai. So, again, it's a simple scaled down version of the Windows uh, family and they are used in the devices that are used in either in the households or in the industry or publicly uh, the devices use or in point of sale terminals for example they are example of the devices that are using the embedded operating systems right then we have uh, the windows mobile again uh, windows family operating system and that is used in smartphones and pdas it has uh, the personal information manager features, for example, calendars, calculator, book, uh, 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 scheduling, these kind of things that are part of the personal information management. This is available along with the emailing and internet as well. Then we have the BlackBerry, Symbian OS, Google Android and iPhone operating systems again um, Google Android uh, or iPhone OS again a new generation of uh, operating systems and that have completely changed the way uh, you deal with the cell phones now or the uh, mobile phones now okay so aapke smartphones ki category ke ye wale operating systems use hote hain Blackberry when it first, uh, first came uh, uh, that was the kind of operating system, the first operating system that was being used in smartphones and PDS. And not only you were accessing the um, personal information manager features with it, you were also accessing the maps and getting directions along with the telephone features as well. So when, once the BlackBerry operating system came, it completely changed uh, the way you were uh, handling a simple mobile phone. So these the rest of the operating system, the Symbian, the Google, Android and the iPhone OS basically made the mobile phone or the smartphone a uh, small computer. Okay, those are processing up a computer, those are processing up a simple uh, mobile device, a simple smartphone. So these operating systems basically provided the functionality of a full-fledged uh, laptop or a computer system within a very small device, a handheld device. So when we were talking about the oper uh, system software, we said that system software two types can. One of them are called operating system. The other one are the utility programs. Utility programs, again, can be divided in two categories as one of them being part of the operating system and the rest are standalone operating systems that are, can be separately installed. Right, Jeep. So what do these utility programs do? They basically help in maintaining the computer system. Okay, they perform maintenance within a computer system. Chori chori the maintenance tasks hoti hain that are performed by the utility programs. There are certain when, uh, that are uh, associated with the operating system. Uski ek example hai hardware utilities provide karne ki, for example, disk scanner. So, you ba so disk sa scanner basically checks for any kind of problems on the hard disk. This defragmenter is basically used for file arrangement on any kind of crowded disk. For example, you have um, 
when the operating system uh, reads the data from the uh, from the hard disk to different sectors mein jaake uska rewrite head check karta hai ke wo wali jo required file hai wo kahan pe padi hai theek hai so basically when uh, the files are placed on the hard disk it's not necessary ke file ke sare portions jo aapne complete file access karni hai uske sare portion ek hi jagah pade hain so they can be uh, scattered throughout the disk so the uh, read write head has to move to different locations to get the uh, complete file so basically this fragment kya karta hai ke wo jo ek file hai uske sare components ko ek hi jagah ke upar disk ke upar arrange kar kar deta hai so that the access of that uh, file becomes faster right ji then we have the diagnostic utility again uh, ye utility hai to diagnose different hardware faults theek hai aap diagnostic utility chalate hain to detect any kind of problem and if there is a problem then the operating system uh, tells you that this is the uh, problem in the hardware and you do certain kind of measures to fix the problem or diagnose the problem right ji iske alawa there are certain kinds of uh, uh, utilities that uh, can be a part of the operating systems and they can be separately installed as well for example the virus detection and recovery utilities theek hai uh kuch uh, operating systems and that provide you with this uh, spyware and virus detection utilities but sometimes you have to install these utilities uh, separately uh, to save uh, your computer and make it more secure so what does it do it detects the viruses either if it has the capability it removes removes that virus or sends it into a quarantine file for example it's kind of a box that does not let it affect the other computer and uh, similarly is the kism ki recovery utilities provide karta so that the system recovers from any kind of virus attack so file compression utilities are there to uh, utilize the maximum storage space on the disk for example aapki uh, compression techniques kya karti hain aapki files ko ek small uh, compress kar deti hain so that they do not occupy larger space on the disk for example um, aapke music files can be stored in mpeg 4 format or mpeg 3 format or uh, these kind of formats and then you have the dot zip uh, files that can be compressed again and to even even smaller packages and stored on the computer so again file compression utilities uh, help the uh, users to store file by using limited space on the disk then there are certain utilities that uh, uh, allow the pop up blocking for example spyware or pop up blocking jo aap when you are um, browsing through the internet to aapke different kinds of uh, uh, windows open ho jati hain on its own so there are certain utility softwares that allow you to stop those uh, pop ups from being from happening right ji then there are uh, other kinds of utilities theek hai ye to simple utilities thi that work on the personal uh, computer skipper then there are certain kind of utility programs that are based on the server and mainframe utilities theek hai uh, when you're talking about the server your workbook work group uh, a sphere of influence mein baat karte hain then there two three kinds of uh, special utilities that the software is provide for example one one is reporting work group activities ke jo ek certain work group mein koi activity ho rahi hai to wo kaun si hai then there is managing the uninterrupted power supply uh, to the computer system so that uh, it allows a controlled shutdown of the system so as not to uh lose any kind of data so it uh, continuously beeps uh, or sort of notifies the users that uh, there's less power supply and you need to do a controlled shutdown of the system right so then it also provides a uh, reporting of the unsuccessful user login attempt so that any kind of uh, uh agar sabotage koi karna cha raha hai system ko by trying out different kinds of log login to wo pata chal jaye then again when you uh, talking about the mainframe utilities in the enterprise uh, level pe to aapke paas again do teen tarah ki utilities aa jati hain for example the one some kind of uh, programs that allow archiving contents of the database when they are being copied from one place to another or from a disk to any other kind of storage medium ठीक है तो आपका जो पुराना वर्जन है दैट्स बीइंग आर्काइव्ड देन इट्स आल्सो यूज्ड फॉर रिपोर्टिंग स्टेटसेस ऑफ कंप्यूटर जॉब्स अदर द कंप्यूटर जॉब इज 
uh, in process or it has been completed then it also provides comparing the contents of one file with another file because there are multiple people accessing the same file so if there's any changes in the file or the other person has stored the same file in the computer then it compares the contents of the file so that they can be uh, there's no ambiguity in the files or uh, differentiation in the files. Mein. Right, so there are uh, simple basic kinds of special uh, softwares that are performing these additional tasks for either the work group uh, environment uh, computers use or either the servers or the mainframes that are being used in the enterprise pair of influence. Application software. Again, uh, when we were talking about software, uh, uh, the system software, we said again system software are based on the three sphere of influences, that is the personal, work group and enterprise. Same is the case with the application software. Most of the jobs and activities can be handled by the application softwares in the organization. Okay? Now, when, when we said that um, when you, you, you are using a certain kind of hardware, then there is a certain kind of application software that is either working behind it or with it to make uh, the user easier to use that kind of hardware. Okay? Now, there are different kinds of uh, application software. We categorize categorized different ways. Uh, first categorization comes on the uh, how are you using the kind of application software. What kind of application software are you using basically. That means ke either you are creating the application software yourself or you are getting the application software that are already exist. Okay? So there is one software that is called the property software uh, which is one of the kind program for a specific, uh, specific application and that is either built by the organization themselves. Of the self uh, software means that the organization is acquiring an existing software program. Okay? So a kind of program that is specifically built for a specific application or uh, and that is specifically built by uh, for the organization so basically the property word means that it's private and it's exclusively owned by a, by that certain organization ki ye wala jo software bana hai specifically is maqsad ke liye bana hai aur ye isi hardware ke sath use hoga aur ya phir ye isi organization ke andar hi use hoga and it's not a public domain software publicly available nahi hoga on the other hand there are off the shelf softwares that uh, the organization can simply buy or acquire or download from the internet. So the, these kind of softwares or programs already exist and they can be off the shelf softwares may again different categories right proprietary software use um, uh, it has advantages as well as disadvantages as well advantages kya hota hai? that um, that software you have the control of the whole software and it meets exactly the needs of whatever the organizational needs or the management needs are then that software is built specifically according to those needs and it's controlled by the organization but there are certain problems as well for example uh, the software can run into certain problems and there might not be um, efficient uh, a diagnosis available for it right also uh, creating this kind of software requires a lot of time and resources okay time lag sakta is kisam ke software ko create karne mein and resources bhi zyada lag sakti hain technical resources bhi zyada lag sakti hain that uh, when you completely uh, creating a whole program from scratch then obviously that requires time as well as uh, inputs as well as other kind of resources that go into it as well as technical efforts that go into it right so it has its own uh, uh, good points as well as bad points of the self software ki again it has advantages and disadvantages advantage you sit there that uh, since it is an existing software program you can just buy it and install it and use it and there's no time no effort that is uh, spent in actually creating it Right, also, if there is an existing program, if, uh, then uske jo, uh, uske jo, uh, 
availability of diagnosis that, that is already available there and uske different versions and that can be uh, again updated or used right but on the other hand uske uh, certain features hain that the organization probably does not need okay and you have to pay for those features as well because it's again part of the program or part of the software and you cannot take them out on its own right but again there there is a third uh, thing that is sort of uh, combining these two kind of softwares there are certain kind of softwares available that allow you to modify a uh, current software so that it can be used according to your own needs right aage chal ke hum dekhte hain kis kisam ke softwares hote hain right uh, now when we talked about these two kinds of softwares and how you are uh, acquiring these kind of softwares is basis ke upar differentiate kiya gaya then we talk about ke when you make these kind of softwares acquire these kind of sort softwares then working level pay they are again differentiated on the sphere of influence personal application softwares and work group application softwares and enterprise application softwares and as well as mobile application softwares and right see, personal application softwares may again aapke wale softwares i'm not going to go into the detail of them about um, that can be used by a single user in on the personal basis for example you have the word processing ones uh, excel sheets use kar sakte hain spreadsheet softwares graphical softwares any kind of these kind of softwares again they are used at the personal level then we have the work group application softwares mein aapke paas different kinds of softwares aa jate hain that can be used as a collaborative tools humne collaborative tools ki jab baat ki thi again these these were the kinds of softwares and programs that were used for collaboration and they come under the category of work group application softwares again you have certain kinds of, now because the internet is getting so vast and there is a huge opportunity uh, to store documents not just on a hard disk but on the online environment as well so there are certain kinds of uh, programs available that allow you to store as well as share documents in an all online environment either in the form of forums or for example you have uh, yahoo groups that allows you to uh, uh, sort of uh, share your documents as well as upload documents you have google docs as an example that allows you to uh, share your documents online theek hai iske alawa there are multiple a uh, kind of uh, programs available online that allow you to share the documents share any kind of information even blogs can be used as a work group application program for sharing any kind of information again humne jab tools ki baat ki thi we were talking about the social networks you were talking about the uh, wikis that were available as an online tool right so there are different kinds of tools available to allow you to work in a coordinated manner right it and we we talked about uh, the enterprise application softwares again aap ko ek enterprise level ke upar jo application softwares require hote hain we have talked about these uh, in in the second chapter as well when we were talking about the types of information systems again it's a system it's a software it's a program that is used at the enterprise level to not only uh, coordinate the business activities within the organization but also communicate with the environment outside that is the suppliers the stakeholders as well as the government agencies aur isme ek example aa jati hai about the saps uh, uh, enterprise resource planning software you guys so this is one example of the software that is being used at the enterprise level for as an application software इसके अलावा वी हैव द मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट मीन्स सर्टन काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन आर आर अवेलेबल टू बी यूज इन द स्मार्टफोन्स राइट जो आपके स्मार्टफोन्स में डिफरेंट एप्स यूज हो रही हैं जिसको हम बेसिकली वी यूज द वर्ड एप फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन देर आइर एप्पल एप स्टोर से आपको मिल जाती है गूगल एप स्टोर से आपको मिल जाती है प्ले स्टोर जिसको हम कहते हैं एंड्रॉइड बेस्ड स्मार्टफोन्स में जो यूज हो रहा है सो देर डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशन अवेलेबल uh that can be used and again application programs kis liye hote hain they simply help the user do certain kind of tasks on the uh, computers so since the smartphones are again mini computers now uh they have the processing of a, com- a complete computer so application programs are, uh, are available for the mobiles as well now all right types of application software may when we were talking about the off the shelf software then we said there are certain kinds of softwares that are available uh 
online that you can just download and you can do some changes in these kind of software so that kind of softwares are open source softwares open source software me kya hota that a modifiable version of the source code is actually available online and the people can download the software developers can download and they can make changes in that kind of software according to their needs or the according to the organization needs and such a software either uh, one one of its form is either present in the executable form the other form is available as a source code that can be modified and that can be modified according to the needs of the organization or personal needs so open source softwares basically are less expensive than the traditional softwares or uh, and they can be easily modifiable so there are basically a lot of uh, uh, advantages of using the open source softwares but most of the people argue that open source softwares are they more reliable and secure than the any kind uh, of traditional softwares but आजकल बहुत ज़्यादा ये डिबेट चलती है अबाउट सिक्योरिटी एंड रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ द ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर एंड सम ऑफ देम से दैन येस दे आर सिक्योर एंड रिलायबल बिकॉज इफ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द सॉफ्टवेयर दैन द फिक्स जिसको हम कहते हैं सॉर्ट ऑफ द डायग्नोज वर्जन ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर इट्स रेडली अवेलेबल टू यू ठीक है छोटा सा फिक्स होता है प्रोग्राम होता है जहाँ पे प्रॉब्लम आ रही होती है आप उसको ऑनलाइन ओपन सोर्स कम्युनिटी में मेंशन कर देते हैं दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड विद इन आवर्स यू एक्चुअली गेट द सॉल्व कोड ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज देर मल्टीपल देर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स प्रोग्रामर्स दैट आर वर्किंग ऑन द ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर और they are constantly working on these kind of softwares open source softwares ko codes modify ho rahe hain on a constant basis every day and uh, a few examples of the open source softwares are operating systems may we have the linux os which is basically an op- uh, open source operating system and then uh, aapke paas uh, windows based mein you have uh, the open office theek hai application software mein aapke paas open office aa jata hai jisme uh, जो वर्ड प्रोसेसर भी है एक्सेल चीट भी है स्प्रेड चीट भी है यू हैव एनी अदर काइंड ऑफ पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन भी हैं ये सब कुछ भी आपके ओपन ऑफिस में आ रहा है देर प्लेंटी ऑफ अदर काइंड ऑफ इफ यू लुक ओवर ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड टाइप इन द वर्ड ओपन सोर्स सॉफ्टवेयर एंड देन प्लेंटी ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर अवेलेबल ऑनलाइन एंड दे आर सम ऑफ देम आर फ्री ऑलमोस्ट some of them are free to use and some of them are even if they have the cost they are less expensive than the traditional uh, uh software that are available like that right ji uh iske alawa internet browser aapka firefox that is again an open source browser and database software that is mysql again is an open source uh, database software so there are plenty of softwares available online for download for their source code available uh for download and for modification or right, after that we uh, come to three more categories of the application software the freeware shareware and public domain softwares freeware or shareware may you that because uh, most of people are now moving towards since the there are different kinds of programs freely available on the um, internet so freeware and shareware fall under those category that that are less expensive or almost free free of charge that is so you can download these programs and use these programs most of the antivirus programs yeah uh, spyware programs fall under these categories iske alawa you have music programs that again uh, fall under these categories that are freeware or shareware shareware mein hota hai ki there are certain programs that allow you a trial based uh, version as well for example if there is a certain kind of a pro- program that you're uh, installing in the system then you have a 15 days trial period and after that uh, you cannot uh, use certain features of a certain uh, program or you cannot use that program after a certain uh, limit and you have to pay for that uh, it's again a nominal fees but still you have to pay for that uh, software to uh, use it fully or to use it after a limited time right ji iske alawa these freeware and shareware again they sometimes fall under the public domain category public domain category means that uh, these programs do not have any kind of copyright so their uh, copyright in mein nahi hote so that can be used and they can be copied anywhere and they can be used anywhere by anyone 
right? So, this, uh, so uh, because uh, organizations and even personal, personally, people are moving towards the kind of softwares that are less expensive and free. So, these are the kind of softwares which uh, you provide karte hai, uh, good softwares, hai, but there might be certain problems associated with the freeware softwares. They might not be as easy to use as a traditional software. They might have certain kind of bugs as well. And freeware, shareware and public domain softwares do not have a modifiable code available to them. Right, because uh, because they do not have have a source code available to them. So again, in case of features, again they are fixed. On the other hand, open source software has a modifiable code available, and you can change that code source code to uh, meet the needs of your organization or even meet the needs of a work group. Right. So there are different kinds of, of application softwares that are less expensive or ye aapke char tarah ke softwares yahan pe explain kiye gaye hain the open source software freeware shareware and public domain you can also log on to the internet and read more about them uh, and different kind other kinds of softwares that are available online right so most of these softwares are easily downloadable and they can be easily installed in the computer systems and they can be used again either completely free or on the trial basis or you can simply use them without any kind of copyright problems. Right. Today we talked about the different kinds of software and uh, the key points were that we said that the system and application softwares are critical in achieving organizational goals. How? Because when you are using different kinds of hardwares, when we said that the input is really important uh, in an information system and the output again is really important in an organization because you need to get the right input at the right time to the right people in the right format. So when we were talking about this then to use these kind of hardwares to get the kind of right information there are uh, so kind of uh, system softwares and application software that are working behind those hardwares to work properly. So. The kind of system softwares and application software are basically made to support the certain hardware in a certain kind of sphere of influence. For example, personal level pay there are other kind of application softwares that are being used. Work group level pay there are other kinds of application software used for collaboration, used to uh, share documents and files. Then again, there were enterprise level pay. Again, there were special kind of system softwares and application softwares that were there to achieve the goal of working in that kind of environment. So, mainframes ke upar again, there were special kind of uh, system softwares that were being used. This we have seen that the Z series ke, uh, IBM ke, um, operating systems and that were being used. Then again, there were the HP operating systems that were being used. That were basically providing the added functionality so that they could perform the business tasks at the optimal level as well as providing security for the internet based and web based applications that would run on those computers. Right. Then we talked about that developing proprietary application software is effective only if it meets an organizational need and provide competitive advantage. Like we said that the application softwares ki paal ki thi, we were talking about that there were basically two types of softwares uh, when you're talking about acquiring these kind of softwares. Either you have the inbuilt software that you are building yourself, the organization is building themselves, but that is only needed only and only if it meets a certain organization need and if it if the organization wants to achieve a certain competitive advantage through that software. Agar to they are just doing it and uski cost to hai wo zaza aria as compared to the uh, value of that of using that software then there is no use creating the software on its own. Right? Because aapke, when you are creating a software uh, when the organization is creating the software on its own then usme not, not only time is being used, resources are being used, technical efforts are being used as well as cost is being used as well. So it could get costlier than the value of the software usage itself. Right? So it's always important to balance between the uh, amount of energy, time and cost being utilized in creating the software than in the usage of the software. So 
The organizations have to analyze that either they make their own software or they have to buy a certain kind of software or simply instead of buying they can simply get an open source software and if they have the capability of uh, modifying that source code or they can simply buy the software and if uh, there are certain features in the software that the organization doesn't need and if it's not getting so cost costly if it's a small size feature that they don't use then, it's then the organizations are better off buying a simple software for them right ji then we talked about that the software industry uh, uh we software ki baat ki thi when we said that there are different kinds of application software different types of application software is available then open source freeware shareware or public domain software ki baat ki thi why because we said that the industry is a uh, undergoing a lot of change Okay, there's a lot of change in the technology and the kinds of software is being developed throughout uh, uh, nowadays. So the users need to be aware of the trends and issues involved in these kind of softwares. Issues means that uh, the organization must be familiar with the kind of bugs that a uh, software can have. Okay, the, the kind of problems or the kind of uh, uh, code problems that a software can have, either in either in creating that kind of software or if you simply buy the kind of software the uh, users must be aware of that and also they must be aware of the trends that are now happening for example if the trend is moving towards acquiring the open source softwares then the organization should learn to accept that kind of change and uh, sort of move over towards that trend that open source software are maybe the next thing to be used and they're not only cheaper they're Uh, that they could be easily maintained because their fixes are already available online as well or if they're not available online then uh, already available online that that means ki unka aap fix nikal sakte hain through collaborative work because there are different developers working in a collaborative manner to modify a certain source code and they can work collaboratively collaboratively to solve a certain problem in in a certain program or in a certain op, uh, open source program So this is what we have talked about today about the system softwares and the application softwares again unka usage unka acquiring unki need again depends upon the need of the organization and the need of what is being used in the organization or what the organization wants to use either it wants to use simple servers or it wants to use simple mainframes then again the system softwares and application softwares will be based on these two kind of hardware devices right so here we going to end our chapter uh, that was about the hardware and the software components or in this chapter we kya dekha tha we talked about the uh, it infrastructure or uh, infrastructure ke humne teen components dekh liye we looked into the hardware component as well in the last two lecture and today we have looked into the two more components that is the system software component and the application software component briefly we've looked into these kind of things uh zada um, enterprise application software ke detail mein hum isliye nahi gaye because data management or uh, enterprise level ke softwares ko hum aage ja ke bhi dekhenge when we going to deal with the types of information systems again the coming chapters would be about uh, that business information systems mein next we going to start with the module uh 3 but we have one more chapter before that aapka third chapter in uh, in this uh, oh, sorry the second chapter in the same module we going to talk about the emerging technologies in the next chapter emerging technologies mein hum uh, different kinds of technologies like i said grid computing ko thoda aur dekhenge cloud computing we talking we going to talk about virtualization and any other kind of uh, software the asp ajax kind of software that uh, are being used In, on the web development side as well so we going to have a look at the emerging technologies ke ab kaun se different technologies are rahi and that can be useful for the organization so that they uh, that these technologies would be helpful in achieving the organizational goals thank you very much we will meet in the next lecture then